Here's a letter I received um, from the tax collector's office, and behind it are three tax deeds that I that I had purchased. Um, on the on the main page when you log in and sign because it's all online bidding. When you go on to do it, it says subject to current year taxes. Well, that front front page, if you read it, it says we've checked our records with the property appraiser to see you are the new homeowner that you owe the 2011 taxes. Hmm. Well, the 2011 taxes are supposed to be rolled into the opening bid amount on for the tax deed. You know what I mean? So that's it's just a minor flaw in the in the in the system. And to take it a step further, say the tax deed amount is ten thousand dollars for an opening bid. That's all the delinquent back taxes that are owed, all the costs and expenditures to advertise it for sale. That's your starting bid. Now any money over that goes to, to anyone else that has a claim in it. If no one else has a claim in it, then it goes back to actually the property owner. Because over over and above what the government was owed, they can make a claim and say the tax deed opening amount is ten thousand. Property sells for thirty thousand. That property owner will get back twenty thousand dollars. Now, the city of Cape Coral, if they have a water assessment lien against it, they could pull that money out of there. So you know, so on and so on. But this is an issue that you know most of the general public doesn't have a clue about. You know what I mean? And then no, nothing to them. They need, but they need to know. There's a lot. There's a lot of Can little. I yes, sir. There's a lot of little things. Um, within the office, and I'm, I'm sure I don't know them all, mm -hmm. but coming in almost from an outsider's perspective, um, being able to, to, to treat it like a business, and, and I probably wouldn't do anything the first few months. You'd want to get to know everyone and, and just watch how things work, and then come in and make changes for the better. You don't want to make abrupt changes, but I think there's, there's room for improvement along with, along with everything, I guess. A little bit about your um, views on public service because obviously this is a, a, a role that's um, often uh, a little bit obscure, not as well known as some of the other constitutional officers, perhaps like sheriff or clerk. Mm -hmm. um, you talked about you're taking going to take a pay cut if you do take this job. What motivates you to serve the public? And to, ultimately, that's one of the, the, the to issues we look at. To help, to know, I mean, to know that there are, there are issues, and like I said, there may not be. I deal with the tax collector's office. In the, in the business that I'm in, in buying real estate, specifically tax deeds, and in the automobile business, getting transactions done, I deal with them on almost a daily basis, conservatively three times a week. And we could pick up the phone now and, and call, if, if you want to call the number, and, and just see how, you know, and it, it's not the employees. I think the employees need to be retrained. You know what I mean? They, they're, they're good people in that office. But... Um, the tax collector being a constitutional office, you're in a position to, to do more than just be the tax collector, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Um, you could bring up these, these issues and sit down and say, hey, guys, well, every time I go to the office and get paperwork done, they, it gets kicked, if it got kicked back, they say, well, Tallahassee's coming strict on us, or Tallahassee says this. Well, isn't it your job as an elected county official in a constitutional office, if, if need be, to call up Tallahassee and say, hey, what's going on? What, what are, why are you kicking this work back? What's, you know, what's, what's our issue? We're trying to serve our people and our citizens. And um, I really believe that not just the tax collector's office, but any, any office, any elected office, you have an obligation to the people. And I think by working for them and really, really, and not just saying that, but really, whenever, when your customer comes in and you're, you, you've all been to the bank, what happens when you go to the bank? That you get greeted, you get hey, hi, friendly face, let's get you in. Sincerely believe in that. Like we are here for to, to serve. We're all public servants. Sincerely believe in that and being in a position to, to do more than just collect the taxes. I think that uh, that every every politician, call it, has an obligation to do that and not very many do. Do you see yourself playing a very public role if you're elected in, in terms of uh events, participation, I, speaking. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, you know, to have to get out there and, and to meet, I mean, I, another another um, kind of going on a brainstorm, but I, I thought, okay, what if we had like a, almost like a citizen's advisory deal? And, you know, you bought some pizzas for them or you, you, met, at, you met at a restaurant once a month in every different section of the, of the county and said, hey guys, what do you like and what do you don't like? What do you, what do you not like? What, how can we improve it from your standpoint? And um, Lee Iacocca, when he took over Chrysler and back in the 70s, he, he, had, he brought his board in and he brought all his dealer advisors in. 
and said, guys, listen, I know when they were going broke, you know, because I, I, I don't know all the problems and I can't fix all the problems. I said, give me your top three. That's what, what he said. He goes, give me your top three and I'll get them done. And next year we'll knock out the next top three and then so on and so on. And he did it. You know what I mean? You can't go in there and, and change every aspect of, of the office or, or any office overnight or even in four years. But I promise you this, there, there's a lot to improve on. We have a few minutes left of the interview. Any other questions? Board members? Just one question. Uh, having this position, is it going to help your business? Or are you going to have to divest yourself of your interest? or how, how Thank, Thankfully, um, my business, as far as the real estate investing, is a family business. I, my, my mom, my sister, they'd be able to take it over. Um, as far as the automobile business, I would pro most likely have to scale it back or sell it, sell it off. Um, I wouldn't be able to do both, not, no way. So I would have to, I mean, if, if I got elected to this, this office, um, I would have to, I would jump in full steam ahead and uh, cut everything else back. Any final thoughts before we conclude? No, I really appreciate the opportunity for you guys to come here and listen to me for, for 30 minutes. And um, I look forward to hear what you have to say. And I think it's a great thing that you do this for, for all, all offices on every level. And um, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. All right.